getting hit so hard that the ground is like dented in. They shine a light to find this, a big chunk of ice in a crater on the ground. The largest piece of hail ever recorded is eight inches in size, found in South Dakota. Oh it sounded like a drone, like, ju like just like something pushing past the air.
In central China's Hunan province, floodwaters brought by a downpour started early Sunday and drenched 35 houses. Evacuated residents were forced to move to a makeshift shelter on Sunday night. In East China's Zhejiang province, the rain triggered floods on Monday, washed away the road bays, and caused the collapse of several sections of a local main road.
шлейфе. Особи очень ленивые и не хотят отъезжать от корабля. Скажу, вот такая вот экология у платформы. Rescuers desperately digging through the rubble. As many as 120 people missing feared buried beneath this crush of heavy rocks and mud. Officials say the massive landslide came with no warning at 6 a.m. local time in China's Sichuan province. Heavy rain causing the mountainside to crumble onto the village below. A second smaller landslide triggering boulders to topple onto the village. New Island has formed off of North Carolina. It is a mile long, about 300 yards wide, and appeared off the tip of Cape Point near the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. Officials say the current around it is as strong as a rip current, so visitors should not try to walk or swim to it. Far, the fire has burned more than 43,000 acres and is 10% contained. 13 homes and eight outbuildings have been destroyed by the flames here. As of this morning, 750 people from 11 towns are evacuated. Today, the Upper Bear Valley was added to that list. The Nazbo.
Brad said while Lincoln saw rain overnight, parts of Omaha were hit with baseball-sized hail, leaving behind a trail of damaged property. Hail ranging from golf ball size to baseball size damaged windows in homes and cars. The full extent of the damage done by that late night storm will be assessed today. One man tells our sister station WWT6 News he's lived in Omaha since 1985 and has never seen hail or damage like this.